Hi guys, welcome to the short video about what you can do if you're using an Xbox controller on PC and it's doing crazy stuff like lagging or freezing or other crazy things. We hear a lot about problems using Microsoft controller on PC, but we have to distinguish between the old Xbox 360 controller and the new one uh, for the Xbox One and for the Xbox One there are even two different controllers there's the old one without the Bluetooth included and there's the new one which I think is actually called the Xbox One S controller including Bluetooth we have an example here uh, which you can use without any dongle or anything directly on the, with the Bluetooth on Windows 10 so we start with the wired one uh, usually that uh, means the xbox one controller the old one which ha doesn't have the bluetooth wireless technology and so pe some people are using that with a usb cable and that can cause some problems as well of course not with the wireless but with the uh, cable and I have heard that most people have been able to solve these issues when they were using a USB 2 adapter instead of USB 3 adapters. If you don't have USB 2 adapters you can buy USB 2 adapter like a USB hub but there's always a, a problem as well with USB hubs you have to be careful if you have a dedicated USB 2 port on your PC or laptop or wherever uh, that's highly recommended to use them sometimes you uh, have distinguished USB 2.0 ports and USB 3 ports so if you have the possibility I highly uh, suggest to use the USB 2.0 of course you can go into control menu of your system and change everything from USB 3.0 to USB 2.0 but it has also some limitations about speed and usually that's not want you, what you want to do it's maybe a last resort option but usually I do not recommend to do that and also I do not recommend to use uh, USB hub but you can use that if you use a high quality hub and that's exactly same problem with the old Xbox 360 controllers there is no Bluetooth wireless controller there are only the, the only possibility to connect them to PC uh, by wireless is buying this Xbox 360 dongles for the PC that's the things which we are seeing here on Amazon listings yeah of course it's almost a little bit difficult these days to get it but there, there are still some listings around and they are working actually pretty good but but what's important here as well is to have a good connection and do not use like a cheap uh, USB hub definitely not a good idea it's good to have USB 2.0 all, all directly on the PC usually also good to have USB 3.0 on your PC if you have to use a hub it's highly recommended to use a high quality hub and do not use something like this I mean I've been using this I mean that's not bad it's good value uh, instant 7 port USB it was about $10 even with the power adapter works for a lot of stuff and somehow reliable it, it, it's not a bad value don't get me wrong but uh, if you have problems with a device that could be the reason easily for such problems and it has caused some problems with my Xbox 360 uh, wireless dongle so I've then been switching to another one which I had uh, some time uh, yeah which I've bought some time ago that's the Unitech and that, that's definitely a much better quality it doesn't have the switches but it's much better quality it's USB 3.0 and since I have been moving with my old Xbox 360 wireless controller or dongle to this one I don't have any problems 
anymore. But what to do if you have this new Xbox One or Xbox One S controllers and having problems? There are solutions as well. And one of the solutions is to download this Xbox Accessories app from Windows 10 or Microsoft Store on Windows 10. And with this one, you can update your controller. So you need a USB cable and connect your controller to the PC and then you can update your firmware and sometimes that can help. By the way, I've heard that uh, it's also helpful to use USB 2.0 or 3.0 to make the updates, but uh, I'm not sure about that, but just in case you have any problems. So maybe this update then will solve the case. And if it doesn't solve the problem, there is also a last resort option here and that's the Microsoft Xbox wireless adapter for Windows 10. So it's not an adapter for Xbox 360, it's an adapter for the Xbox One actually. And there are more than this, it's not only this one available from Microsoft, there are other ones too. And so you can choose the normal Xbox One connection instead of the Bluetooth connection. And I've heard from many people that this thing definitely works much better. Yeah, uh, what I don't like is the style, but I think it's also from third party manufacturers they have, they're using this style. Yeah, this USB stick is pretty long. It's not what I really prefer can be a little bit yeah risky or dangerous i mean depends on the setup which you are using but definitely regarding connection it seems to be that this is much more stable and reliable than using the bluetooth from the new xbox one s adapters yeah, I think that's it for now. I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments or better solutions, just write everything down into the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.